good afternoon students am i audible am i audible okay okay i will not wait time then let's start. fine so okay the coding is started so good afternoon everyone this is a class of professional elective 3 6m real water supply and on site sanitation system clear so this is, it will be a continuation of <coughs> the last class uh, in the last class we are discussing about waste water right yeah so we are discussing about waste water different types of waste water and impurity contained in waste water and why treatment of waste water is required and how a treatment of waste water is done the overall all these things are mentioned in the last class fine so this is a kind of a continuation of of the last class there is no much thing to discuss the very small topic i have taken this for today class so don't worry it will over quickly okay so let me first share my screen wait okay ah uh. <clears throat> So in this class, we will discuss about night soil, basically the human excreta uh, that may be generated in, uh, in a household, in an individual household, there will be a domestic uh, system called septic tank or anything, okay? So basically, we are going to discuss about night soil and that management of night soil, fine? So, <clears throat> Basically, what is night soil? Night soil is the human excreta, and why it's called night soil? Because the collection of the human excreta is uh, usually done in the night. That's why it's called night soil. Fine. So night soil is a historically used infusion for human excreta collected from uh, cis poles, uh, previous pail, closet, pit latrine, previous medium. All these things are actually. Uh, a system which can be used for human excreta collection okay just i'll show you some diagram for that Wait. i'll show you some images okay so these are actually called cisball basically it is a container to collect human excreta. Okay. So basically, what is this? Paul is a shallow underground system for disposing of sanitary waste. Okay. And this Paul consists of a concrete cylinder, so it kind of a cylindrical shape. Here you can see. Fine. So here, in a particular this Paul, the human excreta, uh, human excreta will be uh, can be stored. Fine. Then let's see what is previous. Previous kind of actually it's a local uh, term is a toilet we have used. Okay, so technical term is privy. Privy is located in a small shed outside a house or other building. Okay, let's say some images if I have. So these are actually your privy. Okay. Then let's see what is a close it. So these are also related to the stories of a collection of human excreta. Right? 
So maybe they are uses long term ago for individual use. Okay. So pale closet or you say you can another word a pale privy is was a room used for the disposal of human excreta under the pale system. Right. So these are the different system for collecting uh, human excreta like pit latrin. So pit latrin is kind of a uh, in the particular pit latrin. I think it is related to your collecting your human excreta in a dig. Let me say okay in a pit hole, which is done in a ground. So here you can see in a pit latrin uh, that even here also you can see. So a, a underground storage will be provided here, okay, and the excreta is collected here like that. So it's a kind of a pit latrin diagram. Okay, so there are different kind of uh, storage thing like septic tank. I think septic tank every in every household there is a septic tank. Okay, I'll show you here. Here you can see the septic tank design. I think in even in your last semester also you have got this thing, right? This is a basic diagram for uh, septic tank system. Okay where the human excreta is coming from this direction so the inflow in even even in your septic tank design, I think you're familiar with you. So <clears throat> the human excreta and the waste coming from the household will go to the, this chamber, and then the solid waste will settle in the first chamber, right? Then the liquid may, when the particular the first storage get full, then through this valve, the water go in this second this chamber. Then finally it will go as an outflow. Okay. So it can be uh, life of a particular septic tank like 10, 15 years, 20 years like that based on the design and the based on the consumption, right? There will be a manhole will also provide it for, um, you know, cleaning purposes of septic tank, inspection pipe, all these things are also needed. So in next module, like in fifth, fifth module, we're also going to di discuss about this, okay? So for now, let's leave about this. So anyway, so night soils, Basically, it is a term used for human excreta collection, okay, which is collected from a cispals, privy, okay, pale closet, pit latrine, privy maiden, or septic tank, etc. Okay, so this material was removed from the immediate area, usually at night, by workers employed this trade. So basically, this, uh, uh, there are some worker under municipality, you can say. So they are used to collect the night soil. They collect the human excreta from this particular uh, collector tank, or you can say storage. It is done, the work is done in night, so at night. So that's why it is called a night soil, fine. So the disposal of night soil has uh, derived through time, okay? Very through time, sorry, disposal of uh, night soil has very through time. In urban areas, the night soil collector arrived regularly at varying time period depending on the supply and demand for night soil collection. Okay, but it is not the case for rural area. Okay, where, where there is no kind of a main, maybe there is not be any system for that. Usually this occurred during the night, during the night soil term. Okay, in isolated rural area, uh, such an informs the household usually dispose the night soil themselves only. Okay, it may be disposal disposed in the uh, earth directly. Fine. So let's discuss about the method of excreta disposal. Okay. So there are some method of excreta disposal based on, and it is that all the method are 
divided into categories. One is unsewered area and another one is your sewered area. Unsewered means where your treatment is not provided. Treatment of the waste is not provided. Directly is collected and disposed. Okay. In sewered area where the treatment, a proper treatment plan is there. Okay. It is called sewered area basically. Fine. So the method of excretum disposal, it is categorized under unsewered area and sewered area basically. Fine. So these things we are going to discuss about that only in this class. Okay. So unsewered area. So when it comes to unsewered area, that is where your waste, waste water, you can say, or the night soil are not means to go for uh, treatment. Fine. So under unsewered area, there are two, the process of excreta disposal is uh, divided under three type, three head. One is your service type, non-service type, and latrine for camps. Fine. So these are under unsewered area where the un where there is no treatment proceed, uh, process are available. So first is your service type. That means the night soil is collected from pale by human agency. That means pale means it's kind of container where uh, the human excreta can be collected and later disposed by burying or composting. Right. So. You can also go for composting. So regarding composting, it's a very, uh, it's kind of a biological method for removing the, or you can say for treatment of the human excreta or other waste also. Okay. There is a very benefit of composting. So we are going to discuss about composting in coming module. Fine. It is very useful for also, especially when it comes to rural, rural areas. Fine. In general, what is composting? Uh, basically in case of composting we allow the waste to go for decomposition okay by using some biological process okay and that particular from the uh, result coming uh, the outcome from the compost uh, composting process that particular matter can be used as a fertilizer fine so the non service type where even where service are not provided by the municipality or any other organism uh, uh, to collect the human excreta and other waste that means there is a non-service type in that case a borehole latrine dark well latrine water seal type latrine and septic tank and aqua privy are used so let me show you some images for them one by one so borehole latrine basically it's kind of a borehole where all the human excreta can be stored okay So basically we are discussing about uh, sanitation basically fine so it's kind of borehole latrine here you can see so here you can see it is a borehole latrine where it can be used in our real areas fine where a service a proper uh, planned service for collecting the human excreta is not there that we can go for uh, constructing a borehole latrine fine let me give you the definition also. Let's see whether it is there or not. So here you can see the borehole latrine is an emergency, basically emergency or excreta disposal system where a borehole uh, about five to 10 meter depth and in diameters uh, about 40 centimeter in diameter is combined with a slab and a superstructure it is built okay and it is an alternative to pit or trench latrine where a ground condition allow it and tools and labor is immediately available locally okay so basically it is a alternative to trench latrine so let me also give you what is trench latrine here So basically what is trench latrine this is a traditional latrine which usually we use okay it is shallow or deep latrine or trench latrine like 15 to 200 centimeter depth or a pit latrine where a trench instead of the slab or superstructure okay they can be arranged in a simple trench right? 
they can be arranged as a simple translatorial or as a multiple translatorial. So here is some images like here. Here you can say translatorial. Okay. Shallow translatorial, you can see here. Clear. Okay. And next, a uh, dark well latrine. It is also similar, uh, that, well similar to that. It is also similar, that. similar to that. Wait. Okay. So it's called dark well latrine. So basically, it's differ from in its dimension. Okay. So dark well latrines are. It is an about seventy five centimeter in diameter and 3 to 6 centimeters, uh, 3 to 6 meter in depth, okay, in hard soil, fine. The well is lined to prevent caving in uh, of the soil. Line means what? The circumference of the well is, um, make it impervious, okay. So here you can see some diagram. Okay, this is, this is a kind of a dark tree. I'll show you. So this is kind of a, it is a cross section, okay? This is a dark tree. So this is a ground level. This is a, suppose this is a trans, okay? And this is a, a well kind of uh, shape is provided under the ground where the human structure can be stored here. Clear? So where there is no service type, a proper plan service of collecting the this uh, human excreta is not available. We can go for uh, constructing this kind of, um, you can say process. We can adopt this kind of process for uh, managing the human excreta. Basically, it is done in your rural, rural areas also. Okay, fine. Then let is let in for camp. That means for temporary purpose, you can also go for uh, constructing latrines for camps okay like shallow translating that we have already uh, given you like pit lettering borehole latrines all are you can say uh, can be used for a short time or short period okay that means after uh, suppose i will show you one thing like borehole latrine i will show you again So you can see, uh, in the even in the borehole latrine, uh, after when this borehole will fill with the human excreta, we cannot further it cannot be useful. Okay, then we can go for construct a different borehole. That means you can the life of this particular borehole is not long time. Okay, so you can say you can say kind of a temporary way of human excreta management. Clear. So this is all about. Uh, your unsewered area fine basically so when it comes to sewered area basically in terms of your un urban areas in sewered area i told you in sewered area all uh, treatment plan can be also be utilized for human extra treatment like i already mentioned in the last class also there are basically four kind of treatment process starting from preliminary treatment okay then primary, then secondary, and then tertiary. Okay, so here it is pre uh, preliminary is all already included here. Okay, you can also separate screening or grid chamber as a primary. Fine, and uh, sorry preliminary. So under preliminary, you can preliminary treatment you can consider uh, screening. Okay, grid chamber all these things, and in primary treatment you can consider the primary sedimentation tank. Either in some books, it is uh, all are pre preliminary and primary already combined together and directly overall both name as primary treatment. And in the primary treatment is all considered like screening, okay, then uh, filter, then your removal of grit, plain sedimentation, all these things. Then in sedimentation, uh, secondary treatment, where your uh, organic matters may be removed in like trickling filters, activated sludge process, all these things are under, this process are under secondary treatment, okay. So, in severed area, 
in sewage area along with this management of this type we can go for treating uh, treating this particular sewage that is human excreta okay so in case of only in case of unsewered area there is a service type or collecting the disposal collecting the waste is matter fine so since we are discuss, discussing about basically about rural areas so we we can consider in rural areas there is no service type of uh, collecting uh, the disposal uh, waste finally okay so we have to go for constructing some non service type process where we can uh, go for collecting the human excreta for long time fine like non service type process okay even though we can also go for sewage uh, or plant waste process like containing treatment plant also and as i already told you in the last class i'll again i'll show the plan wait 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 yeah here even even after the going through the whole process we can also use the waste coming from this uh, treatment plant that particular solid waste can also be used for producing biogas okay can be used for composting and can be uh, filled in the landfill okay so there is a different approach can be adopted even after the treatment of the sewage there are different approaches for management of human excreta okay or different waste so in coming classes we are going to discuss about different approaches that means basically in uh, module 4 and module 5 okay we are going to discuss about different approaches for said uh, your on site sanitation okay so basically sanitation basically deal with what deal with the hygienic condition okay and it is very important uh, topic related to your urban uh, sorry rural areas because in rural areas there is no proper planned uh, arrangement for waste disposal when it, when i say waste disposal it all con included waste means it included waste water okay it also is included night soil okay because both are harmful for environment so it's our our main aim our main purpose to how to tackle this waste and how to minimize the effect of this waste to the environment that means we need to maintain the sanitation and when it, when i say sanitation there is a two way of sanitation one is your on site another one other one is your off site sanitation okay in particular this subject is basically for on site sanitation on site means at the site only we go for treating treating the waste okay we go for solution off site sanitation means what off site sanitation means there will be a long process off site means uh, the waste where the waste is generated the particular waste is collected from the source and it is distributed or it is transferred to the treatment plant and it is treated in different area this is called off-site sanitation but in case of on-site sanitation the treatment itself is done on the source in the source area fine so basically we are going to deal with on-site sanitation how we go for on-site sanitation by using some innovative uh, approach like going for a septic tank okay septic tank construction like um, pit latrine okay borehole latrine then we go for landfill composting or biogas production all these things we can go for uh, or we can adopt in rural areas okay like this we can minimize the weight of the waste from the earth fine and you can go for reduce or you can minimize the effect of uh, effect of unhygiene in sanitation okay so in coming classes we are going to mainly deal with the sanitation part so yeah this is all about today class in this class we discuss about uh, basically about night soil clear so what is night soil where night soil is uh, collected how night soil is i know 
disposed or you can say how a uh, night soil is treated how can a high soil can be managed in unsewered area and sewered area separately we have discussed okay fine so this is all about today class so with this i just want to close my sharing here so here we have ended our third module we will start the fourth module in the next class okay fine so with this i just want to conclude my class and if you have any doubt you can ask me and if you don't have any doubt then i'll just take your attendance okay chalo theek hai so i'll take your attendance now wait let me yeah then please do respond then you can also switch on our video okay rule number 11 11 hai ki nahi rule number 11 19 sir present okay 23 there is a issue anyway okay 24 yes sir 25 present sir uh 33 yes sir 34 yes sir 35 35 37 39 present sir 39 okay 40 yes sir okay. 41 present sir okay 43 yes sir 44 yes sir 46 then 46 then 46 47 51 present sir Uh, fifty-three, fifty-seven. Yes, sir. Fifty-seven. Sixty-one. Yes, sir. Sixty-one. Sixty-three. Yes, sir. Sixty-three. Sixty-six. Sixty-seven. Yes, sir. Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight present, sir. Seventy. Present, sir. Seventy. Seventy-two. Seventy-three. Seventy-three. Seventy-four. Seventy-four present, sir. Seventy-five, eighty-one, present sir, eighty-one. Okay, eighty-two. Present sir, eighty-two. Eighty-three. Present sir, eighty-three. Eighty-six. Ninety-four. Present sir. Present sir. Ninety seven. Ninety seven. Present sir. Ninety four. Hey, can ninety four? Hey, na. Present sir. Okay. Hundred. Yes sir. Hundred fifteen. Hundred sixteen. Present, sir. 
71 roll number 71 out there okay uh, who have given the attendance you can leave the class thank you anybody left Okay, I'm stopping this recording.